Hi everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. Uh, today I'm going to show you a really cute and free file that I found at 3dsvg.com. It's also known as Dreaming Tree. I'm fighting a little bit with the sun this morning now that the weather has, or the seasons is about to change. Um, so I need to come up with a better setup. So I'm, I, I apologize for the glare. But this is a, just this is an adorable little apple bushel basket that has um, both an inside and the outside, the band, which you can make in a traditional um, look. You see? Or you can do in a, in a more um, modern look or a more eclectic look, I suppose. Here's one. Uh, let's see. There, here's one that's, this is sort of traditional and this is a little more modern. I think this is, first of all, it's a free file um, that you download and then upload into your design space, but also um, it, it's, a, it's a great new file that you can use the solid score lines uh, and use your new scoring wheel that you may have gotten for your Cricut Maker. So I want to show you how to put this together. So stay with me and we'll put this together. Okay, so real quick to put these together. Um, they cut out, these are the main pieces, which I've actually already joined. This, it's two pieces with the bottom and I folded it at the score lines and I've joined the two seams. You can see here and here. And one little tip about that when you join the seams, make sure you fold it and then open it up and fold it in a different place so that it's it's flat, you see? And then you're gonna put in all of these little tabs, you see? And take your glue and glue those tabs at the bottom here. And you're going to be ca more careful than I am. I'm just showing you this as illustration. But then you're going to close it up. And make sure that the edge meets the bottom edge in a nice, neat uh, way. And then a further, like, sort of assurance that it's going to meet, the the edges are going to meet correctly, would be the inside piece that you glue the wrong side to and sort of pop it into the bottom. Make sure. There we go. And this will help you train the paper to go where you want it to go um, when you've glued it. Okay, and they also give you these two uh, panels, which I put them on the inside and I looked at it more as like a, a stabilizing effect for the bucket because they really are quite, quite sturdy little things when you're done with them. They give you also these um, handles. Now you can use the handles and, and also these uh, bindings across to make it look really authentic. Like for instance, this looks very authentic with these bindings in the handle. Uh, you don't have to. Um, some of them you can you can do without that strapping that uh, would be around. And just maybe if you have a certain color scheme that you're going for. But to put the strapping on, it consists consists of three. Um, different sized strapping. Actually, it's two of the same length. See that? There's two. Um, and there's a longer, there's a short, medium, and the longest being at the top. And very easy to, to put these on. They fold in threes. And then you've got, you know, this, um, you've got enough for six. You're going to put glue on the inside let's see and again you're going to be much neater than i am 
but it goes along the edge. In this case, this is the longest one, so it goes along the top edge. You see, and it covers half. And then we do the same with the second piece. goes along this edge. Isn't that adorable? And really that's all there is to it. Just three pieces, the handle inside to hold it. So wasn't that really simple, easy, um, this cute and free uh, file that you can get from 3D SVG. And I want to thank the guys over there, Leo, uh, Ron, uh, for putting together these free files. They actually have quite a few free files that you can you can take advantage of if you hop on over there and, and look under the tab that says free files. So that is an adorable little bushel basket replica uh, that you can use it you know like as a treat cup I I've um, you can maybe put some some shred in there and and hold I don't know a cupcake or something that would be kind of fun anyway it's a nice little addition to your home decor or perhaps your um, office decor or maybe you're having a party there this is great this would be great for a little party favor that you could put at each of the each of the table settings so hop on over and get this file and put it together it's really fun so that's it for today thank you for putting up with my uh lighting issues that i'm going to try to resolve soon but um uh, let's see what else if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so we are at uh, all we are at like one more than one and a half thousand people are subscribed and enjoying the videos and we'd love for you to join the the miss Rita to the rescue channel we got a lot of things coming including um, a couple of uh, fall more fall things as well as some uh, some standard cards and other products uh, and other products uh, projects I should say as well as you get all the information on what's going on with Cricut as well. So thanks for coming by today. Hope you have a wonderful day.